Welcome to video 140 in series 3, and now I'll write the melee strike script. Okay, I'll make a new C sharp script and call it melee strike. Okay, here I won't need the on enable or on disable, nor will I need update, but I will need void on collision enter, that unity method. And uh, of course, I forgot here the collision, and just call it collision. Okay, so for variables, uh, let me put here private melee master melee master, and private float next swing time public float damage, and I'll just put it like 25 to begin with. Okay, here, it set initial references, melee master is equal to get component, melee master, call it in start, so set initial references there, good. Okay, here, when there's a, when a collision happens, I have to check for a couple of things. First of all, if Collision dot game object is not equal to a game manager references dot player, so it isn't striking the player itself. And melee master dot is in use, so it has to be in use in order for it to strike. So the player can't just be you know walking around holding it, and it somehow causing contact. And time dot time is greater than next swing time. And I should probably just say about this next swing time, there's a good reason why that's there. Uh, it's because when the uh, crowbar swings, it can have multiple, well, up to like two, three enters and exits as it's whatever it's hitting. So you like if you're walking around or the animation itself, it can go into the object and out of the object and into the object again. And so each one of those would be registered as a collision. And so damage would get applied and too much damage would get applied. So to control that, it only carries out this operation uh, if this uh, time dot time or uh, well, the next swing time is completed and satisfied. So that way it'll only carry this out once. So next swing time is equal to time dot time plus melee master dot swing rate. Okay. Collision dot transform dot send message. The message name. It is called process damage. If you remember, that's the method on the items and also on the well, the destructible objects rather, and also on the enemies. That's the name of it. The case and spelling has to match exactly, of course. What do I want to pass in? I want to pass in the damage value. And uh, I just realized something, just looking at that, this should actually be an int, because the health values are an int, so it's not necessary for it to be a float. Uh, so send message options don't require receiver. Okay, so now melee master dot call event hit, I've got to pass in collision and collision dot transform and this will just get used for particle effects really and i'm pretty sure that's it actually uh, so it's a pretty simple script okay let's go back to unity attach it on right so i'll just hit apply there and uh, well i guess try it out so i'll go up to the barrel Hit it. Yep, excellent. It's on fire, so the damage got applied. Good. All right. How about I use it against the enemies? Ouch. I think they're getting to me. So if I just run around in circles, swinging around quite silly. Yep, it is pretty much taking them out completely. All right, so that's a pretty dangerous crowbar here. <laughs> Okay, but uh, there is something about it. So remember, when it is swinging, it's in use, right? So what if it's I'm swinging and I throw it? Right. Now I go and pick it up. If I try to swing, I can't. 
because it's still in use. You can see that in the inspector, it's in use. So I need a reset script. This is uh, this is a lot like the guns. So it's the same sort of thing, like the gun you can't reload it unless it has a reset script. Uh, so we'll do that in the next video.